What is the worst vegetable to bring on a boat? <laughs> a, a carrot. No. No? No. A leek. Oh. <laughs> How many more of these do you have? Okay, we'll just hold that for a moment. I'll get another beer. Come here, I love you. Come on. <laughs> Are you with Justin? Yeah, 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 yeah. He just ducked out for a minute. Well, should we go for a boogie on the dance floor? Yeah. Come on. Hey, baby, you coming to join us? Hey. really nice seeing you again, but we have to get going. But I wanted to stay and dance a little bit more. Please, Sarah, I'm tired. Can we just go? Okay, see ya. Bye. Guess what, guess what, guess what? What? I got a new job at that new store as an assistant manager. Nice. Not far away. Good pay. Very good. Oh, it's going to be so good. Did you know I was working under Brad? The Brad, the famous fashion designer. Oh, you should have heard the nice things that Alex was saying about me. She was being so lovely and she believes in me so much. I just know that I can do it. I don't know. It's further away. And can you handle this position? Of course I can handle it. If, if Alex believes in oh, me, but, then... But does she? Like, what if she's just setting you up to fail? She's not. I've known Alex for years. We're good friends. She's giving me this amazing opportunity to work under a fashion designer that I love. Come on, this is my dream job. There will be other opportunities. I just worry about you is all. There's no need to worry. I promise I can handle it. Okay, if you can do this one thing for me, as long as everything else gets done, all the house duties and the travel, I'll worry a lot less, okay? I can handle it, I promise. Deal? Deal. Deal. Sarah, is it? Hi. Welcome. So wonderful to meet you. Oh, hi, Brad. It's so lovely to meet you too. I'm. Thank you so much for this amazing opportunity. I'm so excited to be here. Alex said so much about you. I'm looking forward to seeing your work. Oh. Come through. <laughs> Alex wasn't wrong. You certainly fit in here well. Uh, <laughs> thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. No problems. <laughs> Thank you so much for the flowers. You're oh. So, how was your first day? Really good, actually. Mm. Everyone's super lovely and Brett's so nice. Okay, cool. So, it's <laughs> great. How are you handling the management? Great, I think. Um, he said that I have a real knack for the management position. He said that if I stay back with him tomorrow, he might be able to look over some of my designs. Tomorrow? Alone? Are you sure? You've just met him. You can't trust him. I know what guys are like. You can't trust him and you should not be alone with him. Okay. Morning. Morning. Hey, can you do me a huge favour and stay late tonight? Sam called in sick. Yeah, sure, no worries. Thanks, I really appreciate it. So, tell me about the new job. Mm. What's it like working with Brad? It's all right. Have you shown him your designs yet? No, no, not yet. Oh. I don't think I'll show him. Why? 
It's something Justin said. What did Justin say? It was actually a pretty good point. He said that I barely know the guy. Like, yeah, Brad's some brilliant fashion designer, but what's he really like as a person? So? Why does it matter? Justin's just being paranoid, like he always is about you. You've got nothing to worry about. <laughs> there you are. Didn't know where you were, I was worried sick. I'm sorry, I, I didn't know we'd be this long. Let's go home. Sorry, Audrey. What's the point in having a schedule if you don't follow it? I know, I'm sorry. Audrey just invited me to dinner last minute to celebrate. But that's not on the schedule. You're meant to be home by six so you can make dinner. I know. Audrey's just so busy. I hardly ever get to see her. Well, clearly she's distracting you. She's always inviting you to things last minute and she obviously doesn't have your success at heart. Audrey's my best friend. She knows me better than I know myself. She is nothing but supportive. I disagree. She's always been a scatterbrain, and now she's being disruptive. One night with her, and you've already thrown the schedule off the rails. Our schedule needs to be a little bit more flexible. Life is messy. Sometimes things just pop up. I promise whatever happens, I can handle it. If life is so messy, you shouldn't be distracting her. Distracting? You just got a promotion, right? Think of your career. She can't be distracting you right now. And you know that she just got a promotion too. Whatever support Audrey gives you, I can give as well. All right? Okay. okay. Yeah. Hey. What's up with you today? Are you okay? Yeah, fine, sorry. Are you sure? Look, I can stay back for a couple of hours tonight if you want to go over your designs. Wait, really? Just tell me what's going through your head and we can go from there. Okay. Cool. Yeah, cool, awesome. thank you. What time do you call this? Do you not know how to read messages? I do. I just can't check my phone at work. And what is this? Takeaway. That's not on the schedule. You cook tonight. I'm tired. I worked late. Can't we be more flexible? And why were you so late tonight? I stayed back with Brad. He really likes my design. You stayed back with Brad? After I explicitly told you not to? He is after more than just your designs. He's not like that. Brad's a professional. Well, surely you're just too starstruck to see that he's using you. He wants to take your designs and sell them on as his own. No, he doesn't. He's just giving me advice to help further my dream. I'll give you advice. I need to save you from yourself. I need to save you from yourself. You can't trust Brad with these. What if, when you show Brad these designs, he takes them and sells them as his own, just because you asked for his advice? I will not let Brad do that to you. No, Justin, no, no, Justin! Justin, no! No, Justin! 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 No, Justin! No, Justin! No, Justin! No, Justin! No, Justin! What 
men are like. You can't trust him. He's just using you because you're talented. What are you doing Hi. here? Oh, I thought we could, um... Justin will be home soon, so... I don't... Does it matter? He shouldn't be here. You need your bestie and I brought wine, so... Come on! Have I done something to upset Justin? Is there a reason he doesn't want to see me? No, it's not you. Justin just doesn't want me distracting you. Already broken the schedule twice. Schedule? What schedule? Justin made a schedule for me to follow. <sighs> Since when have you needed a schedule? What the fuck? It's not like that. Sarah, I've known you long enough to know that you don't need some stupid schedule. Yeah, well, this new job is really demanding. Sarah, you don't need a schedule to be amazing. <laughs> designs. Have you showed Brad yet? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And? And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter? Sorry, you've loved design your entire life. Of course it matters. Justin was right. I can't trust anyone else with my original designs. He was right to rip them up. What? Sarah. Sarah, listen to me. What Justin's doing, it's not normal. People don't make their partners follow a schedule. They don't frighten them into hiding from their best friend. And they don't rip up their dreams. Partners are supposed to love and care and support one another. They don't gaslight or bully or control. It's exactly what Justin's doing to you. Where were you? Out. What's it to you? You always want to know where I am. You're so needy. I need some stress relief. No. I said no.
Hello. Is this one? Yes, it looks like Is that all today? Yes, thank you. Thanks so much, Brad, oh. but I can take it from here. Thank you. <laughs> no worries. And by the way, I need to change my address details when you get a no second. No problem. Hi, how Hi. are you? Good, thank you. Good, good, good. Alrighty. Whenever you are ready, just down the bottom there for me. Thank you. Perfect. Great. Thank you so thank much. You very much. Have a good thank day. You. <laughs> you, you've been hiding in the shadows way too long. You always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong. Yeah, you better step into the light, just give it a try. Think that it's time you let that spark out. You've been hiding in the shadows way too long.